I think that there are some other nutrients that are being studied for their benefit in, in breast cancer treatment. And I know you have published some papers on nutrition. Will, will you will you talk to us about some other nutrients that we might think about or focus on or at least keep our eye on in the research? Yeah, absolutely. So I think once again, protein is paramount. Um, Our whole goal when we are treating a patient with breast cancer is to prevent a condition called sarcopenia. Sarcopenia just means a loss of muscle mass. So decreased muscle mass for whatever reason, a medical condition, decreased nutritional intake, aging, but sarcopenia has been shown to decrease a woman's response to chemotherapy, actually limit the amount of chemotherapy that she can receive increase surgical outcomes or negative outcomes after surgery, uh, increase mortality risk. So protein paramount. That is a supplement that I love. Um, We talked about omega-3s. I love probiotics. Uh, I think that we can all agree that the microbiome is being associated with everything. You know, we used to think it was just in the gut and now it's been linked to psychiatric diseases, cancer development, inflammation. And then you have surgery, which requires anesthesia, which we know ruins your microbiome. We give you antibiotics, which ruins your microbiome. So I put my patients on a really high dose probiotics before surgery and after surgery, just to prevent all of those complications. 